East Coast fever kills 1.1 million cattle each year in sub-Saharan Africa and reduces productivity. It has a huge impact on the livelihood of millions of people in the smallholder dairy sector. Government works with partners including distributors, vets and other stakeholders to make the vaccine available to poor farmers. North Rift uh, mostly Eldoret is a very high potential uh, region with a lot of uh, dairy farming uh, taking place and the uh, farmers for the longest time have had challenges with uh, diseases and currently the leading killer disease in this part is the uh, East Coast fever disease. Since 2012, government through its partners has made the ECF vaccine available to the farmers in this area and so far more than 30,000 cows have been vaccinated. I visit two successful dairy farmers to find out how the vaccine has worked for them. Ngombe moja ina karibu zaidi ya 1,100 hamsini mpaka 200. Sasa ukijaribu kufanya hizo ngombe tatu unaona ya kwamba itakuwa umespend almost 450,000 ambaye ni hasara kubwa sana. Kama mama najisikia mbaya sana nikiona ngombe wangu akikufa kwa sababu kitu cha kwanza Ngombe ambaye nilikuwa na mtegemea sana, ameaga, apili. Maybe huyo ngombe alikuwa msaada kwangu kwa upande ya fees. Apia ilikuwa upande ya watoto walikuwa natumia kunywa maziwa. So, ni asara kubwa kwetu. Kwa sababu tumemkoteza huyo ngombe. They drop in milk production. Because they are sick. For example, if it affects an animal which is producing about 20 liters, it goes up to 10 to 8 liters and its health also depreciates and normally it causes a delay in uh, coming on heat. The treatment available for, uh, for the disease is very expensive, uh, probably varying between 5,000 to 6,000 and that is a lot of money for a farmer who's, uh, um, who's, doing, the, the, who's doing dairy farming as a business. The, the, the vaccine is lifelong, it's one shot for life. You only give the animal once and it protects the animal for the rest of its life. Miaka tatu iliopita, kambuni ya sidai iliweza kufika hapa kwetu na waliweza kutufunza namna ya kufanya ECF vaccine. Na kwa kweli tulikuwa na madaktari ambaye tuliweza kuongea na hawa na nikawauliza na mwishowe tukakubaliana. Na nikaweza kufanya hiyo vaccine kwa ngombe yangu yote karibu, wakati huo tulifanya ngombe karibu 40. Na tangu siku hiyo atujawahi kupata ngombe ambaye imekufa kwa ugonjwa wa ECF. Since I, I used the vaccine, I have not had any loss of, of cows. When I was not using the, the vaccine, it was, it was costing me one, 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 one 1,600,000. But now I'm using only 240 per year. Mimi sasa nafanya karibu kwa mwezi sasa na, na spray ngombe marambili. Ambaye unaona ya kwamba tayari umekata cost ya dawa ambayo ungakuwa na spray. Sasa unaona ya kwamba wewe kama mkulima utakuwa umefaulu. Normally we vaccinate calves that are one month and above because uh, at that particular time the calves still have maternal antibodies that could fight and kill the vaccine. So the calves must be one month and above. We also do not vaccinate uh, cows that are uh, in the third trimester of pregnancy. So if any cow is in calf, it should be up to six months. We also do not vaccinate, uh, you do not vaccinate sick animals because this is a live vaccine. The animals are supposed to be healthy so that the body can be able to fight and be able to generate immunity. Kwa kama mkulima ungakuwa unatibu ngombe yako kwa pesa kama shilingi ilifu sita, ilifu nane, sasa unawana ya kwamba utaweza kuenda asara. Lakini ukweza kufanya vaccine ya 1,000, wewe mwenye utakuwa umesafe kwa rama mingi ambaye ungakuwa umetumia. Sasa ninaona ya kwamba, sisi wote, ama mkulima wote ambaye anafanya kazi ya deri, aweze kutumia hii dawa haina ya vaccine ya ICF. If we can eradicate it through the vaccination, then uh, it means that uh, we have a guaranteed um, secured herds. Yeah, so we are sure that you're not losing any animals in, and that translates 
to the fact that it means we are having more herds coming in we are getting more milk uh, we, we are getting more milk we are getting more calves they'll be uh, farm, there'll be more farmers willing to adopt and uh, bring up dairy herds. Uh, this will grow our economy. This will cre create more employment. And um, everyone will be happy.